Hi, this is an example on calculating probabilities using the conditional rule and more. In the example, I have 200 consumers who were surveyed about a new brand of snack food called Crunchicles. They give us a table here. Notice they break down the information by age group and whether or not they liked or disliked Crunchicles. So we want to calculate the probability that the consumer is 18 to 24 years of age, given that he or she dislikes Crunchicles. One signal phrase in this example would be the fact that they say, given that. What this means is that we have a conditional probability. What a conditional probability does is it shrinks the sample space down to the given that condition. The condition is that they dislike Crunchicles. So out of this entire table, the only row I'm concerned with would be those that dislike Crunchicles. In total, there's 30 people that disliked Crunchicles. How many of those were 18 to 24 years of age? That would be 8. So you have 8 over 30. You can simplify this fraction to get 4 over 15. In part B, what is the probability that the selected consumer dislikes Crunchicles? So we're using all of the data in the table, the entire sample space of 200 people. So out of 200 people, my goal is to identify the customers or consumers that disliked Crunchicles. So out of the 200, how many people disliked Crunchicles? That would have to be 30. 30 out of 200, or 3 over 20. Next, what is the probability that the selected consumer is 35 to 55 years old or likes Crunchicles? So this is an or probability. That means we do consider all 200 people from the table. And the ones that we want, the ones that are a favorable outcome, would be those that are 35 to 55 years old or those that like Crunchicles. So we're looking at 35 to 55 years old. We are looking at those that liked Crunchicles. This will give me my numerator. So those that liked Crunchicles, I had 1, 4, 1, and 6. <clears throat> those in the 35 to 55 age bracket, I already counted the 1. I need to do 7 and 46. So what this is going to give me is 65 over 200, which can be simplified to give us 13 out of 40. And part D, if the selected consumer is 70 years old, what is the probability that he or she likes Crunchicles? So what this is, once again, is since we have that if the selected consumer is 70 years old, this is actually a condition. This is a conditional probability. Where the condition given is that the selected consumer is 70 years old, where does 70 years old fall? That would be the 55 and over age brackets. So these are the only people I'm considering in this example in Part D. <clears throat> so in the 55 and over group, I have a total of 28 people. Favorable outcomes are those that liked Crunchicles. So in the 55 and over age bracket, how many people like Crunchicles? Six. Simplify the fraction, you'll get three out of 14. That is the probability. Thanks for watching.